Welcome back to the Get Started with Jenkins series. In the previous video, I showed you how you can get your source code out of the Git repository and into Jenkins. However, this also required us to manually start the Jenkins build process. In this video, we're going to set up Jenkins so that a build is started after each commit to our repository on Bitbucket. To do this, we're going to create a webhook on the Bitbucket website. This webhook will notify Jenkins of all new commits and will send some information along with it. This information includes the branch the commit was made on, the name of the repository, and so on. Just a quick note before we continue. Previously in this series, I told you that I ran Jenkins in a virtual machine on my Mac. Well, for this video, however, I moved my Jenkins installation to DigitalOcean. Why? Well, Bitbucket needs to be able to access my Jenkins installation to tell it about new commits. Obviously, my home network is not directly accessible from the open internet, so I opted to move my Jenkins installation to a digital ocean droplet. So what's next for this video? I'll start by installing the Bitbucket plugin for Jenkins. This plugin makes sure that Jenkins is listening for messages that are coming from Bitbucket. Then I'm going to create a new job and configure it. And after that, I'll test and verify that everything is set up correctly. So let's get going. So here I am at my Jenkins installation and let's start by installing the Bitbucket plugin. So I'm going to go to Manage Jenkins and I'm going to click on Manage Plugins to install the plugin. And on the tab Available, I'm going to use the filter option here in the right hand corner and I'm going to type Bitbucket. For some reason my computer is very slow when I'm searching here. As you can see the letters are sort of catching up to me. Um, once the search results are finished loading, uh, it's the last plugin here on this page. It's called Bitbucket Plugin. Integrate Jenkins with Bitbucket. So I'm going to click Download Now and, and Install after Restart to install the plugin. And this is going to install all the dependencies of the plugin. So it's going to install Mercurial, it's going to install SSH, uh, a Git client, JUnit, uh, etc. Et so now that it's done, I'm going to tick this box to restart Jenkins and wait until it has restarted. Okay, so after about half a minute, Jenkins redirected us back to the home page. And let's just see if the plugin was installed correctly. I'm going to click on create new job and I'm going to create a freestyle project and I'm going to call this um, my Bitbucket project, whatever. And on the next step, I should be able to enable the Bitbucket integration. So let's, uh, let's see if that's the case. Okay, so yes, here at the end, uh, in the section build triggers, I see build when a change is pushed to Bitbucket. So that's exactly what we want. Now for the purpose of this video, I also created a repository on Bitbucket, a test repository to show you how you can integrate it. And I've opened up another tab here, and this is my test repository. It's called Test Jenkins, and it has just one file in it. It's called This Is My File, and it's got the same context contents, uh, this is my file. So let's now go back to Jenkins and configure our project or job. So I've already given it a name and now I'm going to say that I'm, use, I'm using the Git source control management system and it asks me the location of my repository. So let's go back to Bitbucket here and if you click clone, Bitbucket reveals the clone URL for your repository. So I'm just going to copy this URL here and I'm going to paste that back into Jenkins. Now, this is a public repository, so I don't need credentials here. Um, I want to build everything in the master branch, so this is OK. I don't want additional behavior. I don't want repository browser or anything like that. So I'm going to leave the rest to default. Now in the build trigger section, I'm going to enable build when a change is pushed to Bitbucket. And this just enables without any further more ado. And I'm going to click Save to save my project. And that's pretty much all that we have to do in Jenkins. The next thing is to add a webhook to our Bitbucket repository. So I'm going to go back to Bitbucket here and I'm going to go over to the settings of my repository and under integrations there is a feature called webhooks. So if I click on webhooks I have the possibility to add a webhook so I'm going to add one now. And I'm going to call my webhook Jenkins and now Bitbucket needs to know the URL or the location of my Jenkins installation. Now this URL will be notified every time we push new commits to Bitbucket. So I'm going to paste in the URL of my Jenkins installation. 
but you have to append bitbucket dash hook. And that's pretty much all that we have to do. We keep the status active because obviously we want the webhook to trigger. Um, we don't need SSL or TLS and we want to trigger every time we push to our repository. So I'm going to click save and now we're ready to test our webhook. So to effectively test our webhook, I'm going to change the contents of the test Jenkins repository, make a new commit and then push that commit to Bitbucket to see if it notifies my Jenkins installation of the change. So I'm going to open this file with Sublime Text here and I'm going to add something here. So this is my file and this is awesome, for example. And I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to create a new commit. Now I use source tree as my preferred um, Git client, but you can use any other client, obviously. And I'm going to stage this file. I'm going to say this is uh, an awesome commit that will be uh, that will be uh, built by Jenkins, for example. And I'm going to take this box here, push changes immediately to origin master. And this will not only commit, it will also push the changes to Bitbucket and that should trigger our webhook. Okay, so that's done. So let's now go back to Safari and go to the commit section of our repository and verify that our commit is there. Okay, our commit is there. So now let's check Jenkins to see if it has actually triggered a build. So if I go back to Jenkins and I check, oh, the build is already there. Jenkins has auto refreshed the page. And there you go, our first build is here. It was triggered by our webhook. We can open it to see. Uh, there were obviously no changes here because this is the first build that Jenkins does of our project. And it even states, started by Bitbucket push by Xavier. So there you have it, our very first automated build with Jenkins.